What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Sitting in my shop. It's raining. I'm not working on the coop right now, but I got part three. Let's pick up right where we left off. But first subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Maybe hit that bell up in the corner. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. You know, I don't know. Sounds like a good idea to me, but let's get into the video. I just spent some time at the table saw cutting a bunch of rabbits in these pieces. I cut four of them at 46 inches long and two at 23. So the purpose for these, is these little squares are gonna be able to slide in here to cover up the windows during the winter time. It does get cold here in North Carolina, not crazy cold. And from what I've read, chickens actually do very well in the cold but this will just keep the draft and the wind chill factor out of the hen house. So wintertime, slide these over the windows and it'll cover them up. Summertime, open them up so that there's lots of ventilation in the hen house. So I got three more squares that I need to cut. Just using the track saw, I'll get it done.
So I got this bottom part finished up. It's like 88 and three quarters inches long and 12 inches high. I got the wrong type of latch for in here. I need one of the uh, bolt carrier latches, so I'll have to get that. But hinge comes down. You can just clean it all out. This is a deep litter system, as you can see how deep it is. So hopefully we won't have to clean it, but once a year, maybe if that. Um, but when we do, drop this down, shove it all out into a wheelbarrow, and it's good to go. So now I'm going to move on to two doors here that will have big external doors and then internal doors as well for ventilation. Um, so that's what is up next. I just mounted the hardware. It's gonna come off anyway before painting. I obviously need to make a slight adjustment there with the heights because that'll drive me nuts. And then I need some barrel bolts, which will keep these doors flush with the outside framing. But these will be able to open up. This will just be hardware cloth in here. So these can just stay open during the summer. Maybe I'll put like a little hook or something on the end so it can just stay open. But at least all the hinges work.
All right, y'all, so we finished up with the hen house being pretty much complete. Gotta do a little bit of work on the inside, but the walls of the run are done. So now it's time to get to roofing. That's gonna be in the next video. We're gonna roof the chicken coop, start painting it, do the finishing touches on the inside of the hen house, get some hardware cloth on, put a gutter on there with a rain barrel, all this good stuff, because it's gonna look nice in the backyard. I want a nice looking chicken coop. So that's what's coming up next. I will do a thorough walkthrough video. Once the chickens are out in the coop and it's 100% done, I'll do a walkthrough video and kind of get into the details on the order of operations, why I did what I did, that kind of stuff. So if that's what you're looking for, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. You'll get a notification when I post a new video. And that video, that detailed walkthrough video, it's coming very soon. So as always, thank you guys for the support. I'm out.